In this video, I'll show you how to use the Elementor pop-up feature to create this cool off-canvas menu. We will use the menu on small screen sizes to replace our header's nav menu and social icons. Please support our channel by liking this video and by subscribing to our channel for more tutorials. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll need the Elementor plugin. Also, I always use the Elementor Pro plugin and the steroids for Elementor plugin. We also already have a header created that we will be using for this tutorial. If you'd like to learn how to make this responsive sticky header that we're using, check out the video linked in the description. So when you use the Elementor nav menu, from default it has this built-in responsive mobile menu. The problem is that it doesn't look great and it isn't easy to customize. To fix this, we can use the Elementor pop-up feature to create a fully customizable off-canvas menu. We can trigger this menu to show whenever our mobile menu icon is clicked. We will need to have this new mobile menu icon only be visible on small screen sizes because we will still be using the Elementor nav menu on desktop and tablet screen sizes. First, let's create our pop-up for our off-canvas menu. In the WordPress admin, Hover over Elementor, Templates, and click Pop-Ups. Then at the top, click on Add New. Name your pop-up something that will help identify it. Let's name ours Mobile Nav Menu. Remember this name because we'll be referring to this name later. Click Create Template. We can close this Templates pop-up. To begin styling our pop-up, in the bottom left, click on the Pop-Up Settings icon. First, let's change the width to 300 pixels. Then we'll change the height to fit to screen, which will stretch the pop-up from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. That will open a new option, Content Position, which we can set to top. This will make our content vertically aligned at the top of the pop-up. Next, let's set the horizontal position to right. That moves our pop-up to the right side of the screen. We can leave vertical position alone, and let's keep the overlay set to show. Here's what it looks like without the overlay. We'll also keep the button set to show. Now for entrance animation, this changes how the pop-up transitions into view when activated. Since our pop-up is attached to the right side, it's best to do our animation in from the right. The most natural looking transition is sliding. So let's choose slide in right. You can play with this to find a style you like. For exit animation, you typically use the out version of your entrance animation. So let's select slide out right. For animation duration, 1.2 seconds is pretty slow. Let's change this to 0.5. Now let's click on the style tab. Here you can change the background. I'm going to set it to a solid color using this green that I had previously saved. I'm going to leave everything else here set to default, except under the close button I'm going to change the color to solid black. You can also change the size of the close button, but I think the default size works well. There are more settings under the advanced tab, but we'll leave those alone. Now let's add our content to the pop-up. We'll start with the nav menu. Let me drag a new nav menu onto the pop-up. Then we'll change the layout from horizontal to vertical. I'm also going to remove the hover effect by changing pointer from underline to none. Also, if you click on responsive mode and change the screen size to tablet, you can see the nav menu switches to a hamburger icon. Let's get rid of that so the nav menu is visible on all screen sizes. Under Mobile Dropdown, set Breakpoint to None. Now let's add some styling to the nav menu. I'm also going to throw in our logo and some social media icons. I'll speed this up to save time. Finally, let's go ahead and publish our pop-up. Click on Publish. 
Then on where to display our template, click add condition and let's choose entire site. Then click on save and close. Now that we have the pop-up complete, let's add the mobile menu icon to our header. So let's go over to the header and we'll drag over an icon. The most used icon for mobile menus is the hamburger menu. The font awesome name for this icon is bars. So type bars and then select the icon. Under the icons advanced tab, change the width to inline. Then let's style it. We'll change the size to 30 and set the color to our green color. Then we'll link the icon to our mobile pop-up menu. Go to the content tab and next to link, click on the dynamic tags and select pop-up. Then click on the small wrench next to where it says pop-up and in this field, type the name of your pop-up. Ours was mobile nav menu. Now when the icon is clicked, it will show our new menu. Next, let's hide the icon on desktops and tablets. Go to advanced, responsive and click hide on desktop and hide on tablet. Finally, click update to save the header. That's it. Now let's check out our new pop-up menu in action. That's all for this video. If you want more Elementor tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to make the responsive header used in this video, I've added a link in the description. Thanks for watching.